if you're taking notes, with discipline comes freedom. I'm free. If you're talking about my body, I'm free. I don't think any second of what to eat, what to exercise, what to do. I'm free, right? Because I've been disciplined. I developed the muscle, it's in my body. I don't have to think, it's just my elbows are moving and going to the gym. I don't think. How to develop, how to develop a strong commitment and get what you want in life. How to develop a strong commitment and get what you want in life. So why is that important to develop a strong commitment? Because without a commitment, you will never ever achieve what you want. I probably should start reading more. I should probably start going to the gym a little bit more. I should maybe reach out and be a little bit more social. Um, I should maybe apply for more jobs. A commitment basically comes down to that you turning your shoulds into must, right? When you must be in good shape, when you must have a certain career, when you must have a certain relationship, when you must something, when there's a commitment involved, you will follow through and you will see it all the way to the end. So how do you develop a strong commitment? I will cover that in four points today. Number one, right? find your why. So if you are like a lot of other people, they would like to have a beautiful body. They would like to get in shape. Um, but they just never see themselves go there. They never see themselves get the body they always wanted to. Well, the first point you will do, and the first point I will do as a coach with you, I will figure out, okay, why do you want to have a good body? Why do you want to have a certain career? Why do you want to be in a certain relationship, right? What's your why? What's the reason for why you want the things? And most people, like when I'm on a call with, with clients and potential clients and all that, and I ask them, why do you actually want those things? Why is it important for you? A lot of people don't know, right? A lot of people are not aware of their why. They're not aware of their reasons. The greatest weapon you will have is your reason, right? Figure out an area that you would like to improve. Figure out an area that you would like to shift and change and then figure out what is the reason for you want that change. What is your why? Number two for developing a strong commitment. Fill your calendar. Right, fill your calendar. Clients of mine, I was just training Dave and Chris, you know, like every time I see their calendar, it's boop, 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 right? It's straight, it's packed with work, with meetings and all that sort of stuff. What do you do now? Especially if you're not working anymore. When you're going at home right now, how does your calendar look like right now? How does your life look like currently right now? When you got all the time in your world. This is time for you right now to fill up that calendar. Fill up that calendar with personally develop, study, research, right? Implement, architecture, right? This is your time right now to fill in your calendar because what happens is when you're not filling in your calendar, I'm a fairly motivated guy. I'm a fairly disciplined guy myself, but as soon as I don't have things on my calendar and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do one, two, three. I know what I'm gonna do. Then I see myself, I, I, I miss time, I'm like, I just hang out a little bit too much over here. I hang out for half an hour, an hour over here. Um, you know, I might sit and scroll through my phone, you know. When I have a calendar, I'm committed. I am committed to the things I need to do. I know, ring, ring, one o'clock, I need to do that. 1.30, boom, I need to go over to that thing there. It's just, I take all the pressure and all the responsibility away from myself and put that into the calendar, right? Super, super effective and simple way to create a strong commitment, right? So you can get whatever you want in life. Number two, well, number three, what I would like you to do is a 14 day commitment schedule, right? What do I mean by that? 14 days of commitment schedule. So whatever you think you wanted to improve up there, whatever thing you wanted to change in your life, an area, a certain area of your life, right? You fill in your calendar right now with things to do. What I want you to do, I want you to take a 14 day commitment uh, schedule, commitment to your 14 days of work and task and stuff like that. And what do I mean by that? I mean by you committing, doesn't matter what you do, how you feel, how much sleep and how less sleep you have, how many people there, they're, 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 they're backing off from you, how much coronavirus is happening. I want you to stay committed for two weeks on the things you're doing. And what I want you to do, I want you to double up. 
I want you to double up of the activity that you got to do, right? So if you are, you know, you want to go, you want to, you want to get in shape or you want to, you know, you want to find a new job or something right now, right? You want to, you like, fuck, what's going to happen right now? I might, I might be laid off. Okay, what can I do right now? How can I commit to something for two weeks, right? I have a commitment with myself. I'm not eating any shit food at all during the week. I have one meal on a Sunday, nothing during the week, nothing whatsoever. That's a commitment. Second commitment for me is that I wake up at 5 a.m. every single day, no matter how I feel, right? I didn't start my, my physical clients today before. Well, I started at 7.30 today, woke up at 5. Yesterday, I started at 9.30 with clients, woke up at 5 a.m., right? Normally, you will just sleep in 6 o'clock, maybe 6.30. I have a commitment to myself right now. It's a commitment to follow through, right? So when you deny that, when you let yourself down on that one, you're like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Nobody knows. You know, right? You know, right? And that's the biggest thief of your confidence. That's the biggest thief of your self-belief. But then it leads me to the fourth point, the last point on this thing here. Reward achievement. Reward your achievement. So after you've been doing your 14 days or whatever, you can have small things during the day, right? Small sort of things that can, that can, that can give you a sense of like, okay, I tick something off. If it's five minutes out in the sun and be like, fuck, I absolutely crushed it the last 16 minutes. Whatever, it's, it's a phone call to your mom. You're like, fuck, mom, it's, just, it's going well right now. And I, I got five minutes right now. I just, I just want to say I love you. Whatever, whatever it is, small things that you can revolt yourself with. But a good thing is that what I want you to do after your 14 days of commitment, I want you to take a whole day where you are rewarding yourself, whatever you have to be. If it's treating yourself with some nice food, buy yourself some new stuff, um, going on a little trip, whatever it is, I want you to revolt yourself for the 14 days, right? And you can hear it in my, in my language almost, what I want you to do again then, then I want you to repeat the action, repeat the action. 14 days of a commitment schedule, right? 14 days of you locking down 100%, right? Then you got 30 days right now, right? You got a month worth of of trust, belief, and push for yourself, standing up for yourself. And then you got another day to look forward to, right? You might, you might think this is like, this is very disciplined, is very sort of like structured and all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, you gotta be, you gotta be in the beginning, right? With discipline comes freedom. If you're taking notes, with discipline comes freedom. I'm free. If we're talking about my body, I'm free. I don't think any second of what to eat, what to exercise, what to do. I'm free, right? Because I've been disciplined. I developed the muscle. It's in my body. I don't have to think. It's just my elbows are moving and going to the gym. I don't think. I develop discipline in other areas of my life right now. Same principles. Same principles. With discipline comes freedom. And it's fun. It's fucking fun to be on the road. It's fun to be on 14, week, 14 days of commitment. It's fun because you go to bed every single night and you're like, fuck. Even that reward thing can come every night when you're writing in your journal, right? I did that well today. Boom, 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 boom. I feel fucking, I feel like a Superman and I can just keep going and you're taking it off. Look forward to seeing the other side legend. Remember, raise your baseline.